Welcome to Flange Wizard, welder's choice for quality since 1981. All Flange Wizard tools are made in the USA. Today we're going to talk about the multi-purpose chariot beveling burning guide, part number 24219-CBG. I'm going to include some older video that's been done on this particular tool, but try to walk through a few more details on it to help you set up your tool. Later, we want to talk about the Wizard Burning Guides case, part number 8910. In this case, it includes the CBG and a few other popular wizard tools. So let's get started. So now I removed the multi-purpose chariot beveling burning guide from the case. In short, we call it the CBG. So you can see everything that's in it. We're going to start off up here where you have the universal bushing. That bushing will fit any conventional torch tip. So you don't need anything special there. Right behind it here, you're going to see three holes. And those three holes are so you can put these wheels into it for different purposes. If you want to cut a circle, a straight line, or a pattern. This gives you the ability to control and keep your cutting very steady. So you have your three wheels here. You have your head where you can put the wheels into. And it's got uh, set screws here. That's what this Allen key is for. So you can tighten it in position that you want. You can also adjust. You can notice this has a... It has a little bit of length to it there, so you can adjust the height of your cutting tip to your work material. Then you have this smaller Allen key right here, and that is to tighten your torch tip into the universal bushing. The other thing that you have back here is you have your block that has the pivot pin. The pivot pin you can adjust for different heights. You can even remove it and add one of these wheels back there for another application we'll show you. The biggest thing about our new one is you can bevel now. You can bevel, it'll lock in on 22 and a half, 37 and a half, and 45 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the pivot pin that I was doing circles with and I'm going to pull out the third wheel here and replace it where the pivot pin was and show you how to cut along a straight edge. And check this out guys and gals. You can run it along your straight edge. You got that third wheel to hold your angle or your degree whether you're on 37, 45 or 22 and a half and run it along a straight edge. 